Hello everyone, this is Randy here again. Another episode of Professional Farmer 2014. And we are playing on the American map from the Platinum DLC. Where I am harvesting canola at the moment. Uh, off screen I went ahead and fertilized up the fields and then advanced it so the crops are ready. So we got some canola here. Harvested the majority of this field already. And then we got one more field uh, over that way somewhere to harvest. So... And uh, raking it in pretty good so far. Already brought one load in. I don't recall exactly how full that tipper is, so. Ninety-eight, ninety-nine. Yeah, so I went ahead and used the liquid slurry to uh, fertilize the fields. Didn't actually use that much of it. Uh, for those of you who recall, the one time I did use it before, it goes like really slowly. So, uh, I think we're good. Start emptying. There we go. And one thing I haven't done yet, but I still want to do is change out the sprayers we got. I want to get the uh, smaller one, since the bigger one accomplishes us absolutely nothing. And yeah, once we're done with the canola harvest here, it's on to the uh, corn and grass. Hopefully, like I said, we'll be rolling in the dough again with that money. Looking maybe uh, like a self-propelled potato harvest here next, I'm kind of thinking. And then we'll see once whatever money's left after that for other toys. You know, I still want the uh, larger plow yet. I definitely want to try that out yet. And then there's balers, wrappers, all kinds of stuff we can play with yet. So, yeah, we'll definitely be playing on this a little bit while longer. Probably a couple weeks yet, I'm thinking. My plan is to continue playing this until I've uh, tried out the majority of the vehicles available. So, you know, I'm not going to be necessarily trying out like every single combine, header, etc. But I'm at least going to buy the biggest one in each category and try them out. Yep, all the fields, at least all the fields that have corn and canola on them should be 100% fertilized. In both uh, categories. I didn't bother fertilizing any of the grass fields. I don't believe it helps on the grass, so that's why I didn't bother with that. Okay, that does it for that field. The next field is obviously slightly larger. This one was, what, uh, 2.5. That one, I think, is 3.6, if I recall. Yeah, it's a little bit tricky to get in here with this uh, combine and header. Definitely much, much wider header. And we are slowly sliding down the hill. Don't like that. Okay, drive this over to the other field, then we'll come up. We'll probably sell what's in that tipper there. And then we'll drive it to the field over here. Now, the problem is to actually get over to this field without uh, destroying our combine. I think we can squeeze between the true trees over here.
that's something we can try yet too is the actual combine header or combine header trailer that's uh in the uh, vehicle list Not sure how well that would work. I know farming sim, it's kind of a so-so on uh, trailers for the uh, combine headers. Tend to uh, fall off and uh, you know, do stupid stuff like that, so... Be curious to see if uh, professional farmer here is uh, better. Now, one thing I will have to say with that, if you're running the more realistic game engine on Farming Sim, it's going to be pretty hard to beat Farming Sim then. We had just plain old Farming Sim without the more realistic engine. Uh, I'm assuming it's going to be pretty easy to be beat, but I don't know, we'll have to give it a try once. I wouldn't mind uh, buying that one larger field that's out on, I think it's on this side of the map somewhere out that way. Oh, and we're full already. Wow. Yeah, so the field, uh, I think it's I think it's that one there. Yes, 504. And I think this was, yep. So the 5 hectare field. Wouldn't mind getting that one. Wow, that is grass? Really? That's grass too. Interesting. That's kind of weird, because I thought for sure, because I was looking at this field that spring, and I thought they had soybeans planted on it. Huh, that's weird. Anyway, doesn't really matter, I guess. I don't own it, so. Grab our tractor down here. Wasn't watch where I was going there. Trolley, yep. And we had, I think it was 72,000. Now up to eighty seven thousand. That seems like a little less than normal. Yeah, it's one of the things we're not sure about on this game if the price on this stuff varies or not. I mean there's no Yeah, no prices available, so definitely they uh, should hopefully come out with something like that in the next version. So if there's a Professional Farmer 2015 or Agriculture Simulator 2015, whatever they are going to come out with. Assuming there is one, I haven't heard anything, but assuming there is one, that's definitely something they should implement. Should be about right, hopefully. And what did we get for comments on the last episode? Uh, Michael was saying, don't hold back, uh, you know, lay it on him. So, I uh, was referencing, I'm assuming, my little uh, bit about the uh, sprayer there. That's definitely a slight annoyance. And like I said, I'm relatively sure I know what they did. They just took the files from the smaller sprayer, moved them over to the larger sprayer. You know, used all the same code and whatnot. 
I know I've done it before. It's like why uh, you know reprogram, recode everything, just use something you've already made. You know, the only thing you got to watch for is make sure you change it, uh, whatever needs to be changed, for the new one. So I'm guessing what they did with the old, took the old sprayers files, the smaller one, the, I think it was a 21 meters or something like that, moved it over to the 31 meter version, but they didn't change the width and the code, so. Yeah, I have a habit of smacking into this tower here a lot. Not careful, I'm going to do it again. Okay, there's crops in here somewhere. There they are. And I've pretty much just been driving to the uh, tractor here. I don't know if that's necessarily the easiest, but that's just what I've been doing. Now, it's not the easiest to switch a vehicle as a professional farmer, so... At least I don't find it to be real easy anyway. What we need is like course play or something like Farming Sim has. Uh, Michael was also saying farther in his comment, uh, the problem with finding most of the code is they did it in a mixed language. Uh, he also says the smaller sprayer that fits on the back of the tractor has the correct width. But if you uh, don't change the capacity, you will have to fill it like after after every second row. I think I have that sprayer if I remember correctly. Oh, I've got one behind the tractor, and I don't remember which one I got now. Pretty sure I got that one. And yeah, for what he was mentioning about the uh, mixed code, for those of you who have ever looked at the uh, code that Professional Farmer uses, uh, he's correct. I'm assuming it's German, that's what the second language is, I'm assuming. And then yeah, there's like a mix of German and English then. Okay, hello crops. There we are. Yeah, it's really weird. I think this is like the only field that does that too, the disappearing crops. I don't think I've really noticed that on like any of the other fields so far. I mean, from a distance maybe. You can kind of see that field over there is doing some funny stuff. But... Once I'm up close to it, I can't say I've really noticed on, on any of the other fields. And like I was saying about that sprayer too, I mean, it should be a relatively simple fix. You know, you just take it out, test it. It's what you should be doing anyway. It's not like it's really that complicated. And see if it sprays. I mean, it's pretty blatantly obvious that something's wrong with it. And you can't tell me it takes that long to test something like that. I mean, that's just a quick load up the game, play it, and oh yeah, we got a problem. Man, we're full again. There we go. Also got a uh, comment from Sam Gunn. That's his uh, name on YouTube anyway. Uh, the problem with UIG games is they rush them out and they just don't have the uh, budget that Giants has. So they can't uh, fix the uh, problems. He also thinks I'm partly right and there's some amount of uh, laziness and not checking your know, problems. 
Uh, he also thinks that giant or that UIG should give up competing with giants for the best farming sim, because giants won a long time ago. Yeah, you're probably true on that. Although I think competition is a good thing. I mean, keeps giants improving. I mean, if there was no competition for a farming sim, uh, not so sure giants themselves would improve, you know, so. Or let me put it this way, I'll make them improve much faster, I would think. Although, like Sam said, they don't really have a whole lot of competition. I mean, I'll have to give it, Professional Farmer is pretty good, though. It's not, not definitely not as bad as, like, the Agriculture Simulator 2013. Or the historical agriculture simulator. Both of those games were bad. I mean, downright fun to play if they worked, but they were. They had a lot of graphical problems, at least for me anyway. Yeah, agriculture simulator, the historical one, the tractors kept falling apart on me. And then, uh, was it 2013? I'm trying to remember what was wrong with that one now. Oh, there's graphical issues there, too. Texturing, I don't remember exactly what it was again, but... Yeah, I just love the way you could actually deform the terrain on that game. That was really cool. Unfortunately, I haven't uh, figured out how to do it properly yet, I guess. It's kind of a disappointment. Yeah, we definitely need to uh, look into getting that larger combine. I think that would help a lot. Also, there was uh, no episode of Professional Farmer here the last go around. Would have been uh, Labor Day. I was going to uh, record one, and I thought, yeah, you know what, I'm just going to take the day off, so that's why there wasn't the uh, professional farmer then. Always that would have been the day for it. And then I realized that when I recorded farming, I was like, oh, you know what, that's actually technically professional farmer should be the next one. But because I uh, skipped it there Monday. Now, it was yeah, Labor Day in the U.S., by the way. I'd don't know if there's any other countries that have that, but at least in the U.S. anyway, it was Labor Day. I know there's other countries that have, you know, Labor Day, or like Labor Day, but I'm not sure if they're actually on that same day or not. In this case, it was uh, September 1, Monday for us. Nice to have a day off work. Let's see, can we get this field done at the end of this episode? It's probably going to be close. Would go much quicker if uh, this combine wouldn't fill up quite so quick, but... Ooh, 100% there. Well, if I lost some and didn't lose much, we pretty much stopped it right away, so. Going to have to check this trailer, too. It's got to be getting pretty close to being full. Definitely don't want to lose any crop because of that. I think this, uh, let's see what's here. Yes, this will probably be the last uh, that we can put in the trailer. We'll have to empty it.
Oh, we're not even halfway harvested yet. Okay, 60% left. Okay. Yeah, probably won't finish this uh, this episode then. Means I'll probably just uh, finish it up off screen. And then, yeah, hopefully next episode we'll hit the uh, corn and grass hard and start harvesting and bringing it in. And then we'll just be doing what I've been doing the last uh, couple times around. Just uh, keep advancing the time until I can fit it all in the silos. And bunkers, or whatever they're called over there. Okay, and we're full again, and the trailer is full, so we'll have to go empty that. And driving our new uh, friend pro tractor. Which, if I had to guess, I'm going to say this is actually a Fent tractor. Pretty sure of that, anyway. At least, uh, just the way the front end and stuff looks, that kind of looks like uh, a, f a Fent. At least that's what it uh, looks like to me, anyway. Okay, we got 87,000. Let's see how much we got when we're done with this. There's 24,000 in there. So we could actually fit another 3,000. Fortunately, the combine holds five, though, so I'd have to stop it and get it just at the right point. Looks like we're going to make probably a good 20. Yeah, a good 20,000. That's not too bad. That's just uh, one load off of that field so far then. And we should probably be able to get another, what were we at, 60% there. Probably get one more load. So yeah, we should be able to make like 50,000 off that field. I do want to plant this field in potatoes and just see how much money we can make off of that. Because I know the potatoes there were good money. I think we made uh, 50000 off that field that's on the other side of the big barn there. Uh, something I won't mind doing too is upgrading our silos over there to the max just to see what they're going to look like. Don't really have any intention of using them. I'm not aware of any benefit of using them either that I know of, so. Pretty much just been, you know, selling my crops straight up, so.
Oh, uh, we got a half harvested now. That's not too bad. Okay, folks, so with that, I think we'll uh, just call it an episode there. I shall continue harvesting these uh, canola off-screen. We'll hopefully get the entire field done. And like I said, we'll come back and start on the grass and corn. So, hey, folks, have any comments or questions, uh, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching, and till next time.